The Kano Education 2024 Summit convened on the 20th and 21st of February at the Sahiogas Palace, Kano, heard a new dawn in the pursuit of educational excellence and inclusivity. Under the theme, towards strengthening retention and completion of girls' education, the summit unfolded as a beacon of hope, peace, unity, and transformation dialogue. The Adolescent Health Information Project, AHIB, and Christian Aid Nigeria, in collaboration with the Kano State Ministry of Education, Bayari University Kano, Adewa Consultative Forum, Civil Society Action Coalition on Education for All, Partner for Learning for All in Nigeria, Plain, and the Adolescent Girl Initiative for Learning and Empowerment, organized this transformative educational summit. This was ignited with the verse of the Quranic recited by the ACF chairman, esteemed speakers and presenters, policymakers, researchers, educational administrators, advocates from non-profit organizations, parents and students graced this gathering with a profound insight and unwavering commitment to the cause of girl-child education. Here are the highlights from some of the speakers. We talk about out of school children. Does that include those boys that are on the street, but in actuality they are part of the religious education? We need to look at this because the majority of children you see out of school are in fact out of Western schools, but they belong to other types of education. Now we should know. Because this is what is given us the highest number of out of school children. In reality, some of them are still part of school, but they are not part of Western type of education. So we need to correct this. The education masters under Sajepa went to a community where we saw young girls. You know how such girls, no matter what, they cannot go outside and you relate outside like this. So in the school, there are no close by houses. So we saw them, a girl did not even look at us. She's pressed, she don't know what to do. She rushed, she does not know the time she went and is herself close to us. So we were disturbed, we say, what is the problem? They say they, they don't have toilet. So they say this PPPP is between the, the partners and the community members. Okay, come, let's try and build a toilet. In summary, the out of school children we did, we have 31.1% of our children in this, uh, of, of that age are on the streets. 31.1% of that age 10 are on the streets. This is for primary six. This is for primary four. Average assessment for primary six. And then average assessment for primary for JSS1. Women we have 28.8%. Yeah. The summit ended with some recommendations which were targeted intervention, improve infrastructure, enhance community engagement, addressing cultural norms, limited community participation, inadequate teachers' training, and gender bias, with so much more. The Kano Education 2024 Summit stands a testament to the collective commitment towards advancing educational equality and excellence in Kano State. I am Hevzibor reporting from Shagalinku TV.